Hey, I'm Bobby and today I'm gonna try to make a game with pure JavaScript. Now most people might ask why not just use a game engine, it's so much easier that way. Uh, well, I like to make my life as miserable as I possibly can, so yeah, we're doing this. Uh, now the game is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be an endless runner while the main character, who is definitely wearing pants, uh, jumps over angry obstacles. Now this is a truly original idea that has not been stolen at all. Now let's make the main character. Did I mention I'm not good at this? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at this. Not remotely. God, no. Now I'm arbitrarily gonna call him Bob, which is totally random, by the way. I mean, I could have called him Phil or Steve, but Bob, yeah. Oh, and he has abs. <laughs> And now I'm gonna make him jump, which should be pretty simple. I mean, I'll just write a whole bunch of garbage and blah, 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 and play. On God damn exception, the play request was interrupted by the yeah, that's that's JavaScript for you, already dumbass. It's time to pull out the big guns. Yeah, I read a couple of pages, and I now possess a skill to send a rover to Mars and back. Let's fix this thing. And after praying for some divine intervention, I finally managed to get him to jump. Now you see the problem here. Uh, if you keep jumping, he'll keep going higher until he hits the stratosphere, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna write a simple check to make sure he doesn't leave the planet. Now the main characters will be jumping over zombies, because uh, zombies are cool. Now let's make our zombie. Blech. Now all I have to do is make a new zombie class, which accesses the base character class, passes super into the constructor, and override the draw function. Boo! Speak English! I'm gonna make the zombie move by just adding a constant velocity in the Boo. analysis plane. Nobody cares. Now all I have to add is a collision detector. Do you know how to make a collider? Do I know how? Huh. Huh. No, I don't know. Not a clue. Now everything is juicier with particle effects. So I made it snow and added some fireflies. Um, I also added a settings, it's just that nothing really works, it's just, it's just there. Yeah, why are you in the settings? It's, just, it's a tap tap game, just play the game. And I'm gonna call my game Bob's a Wuss. Yeah. I also added a zombiepedia where you can read about different zombies. Everyone knows that no game is ever really complete without terms and conditions. So blah blah blah, nobody ever reads this stuff, blah. And we're good. Um, I also added a score so you're constantly reminded how bad you are at this game. Now people are lazy by design, so I added a cheat. Where you can toggle ghost mode for 8 seconds and just walk right past the zombies. Now I'm not actually gonna tell you how to activate a cheat. You have to go through the code and figure it out yourself, which in retrospect actually takes away the entire purpose of having a cheat in the first place. But my game, my rules. Now is my code low performance, difficult to read, and probably has more memory leaks than you can count? Yes. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna add a loading screen. Now this game definitely does not need a loading screen, but I'm gonna make you wait, cause I can. Now it is a zombie apocalypse after all, so I'm gonna give the guy something to fight back. Ooh, somebody's not a wolf anymore. Finally I add some parallax background, uh, and yeah, my game is finally complete. I'm gonna put the link to the game and also source files in the description, so thank you so much for watching. In a dystopian wasteland filled with pizza delivering zombies. Yeah, credit, bro. One man fights the odds to save humankind from the brink of extinction. Wait, talking about me? Bob's a worse, part one.